question is, I didn't even look, with a something, this book. A dark, a little, a little. Hey guys, it's Jay and I'm here with the Summer Lovin' Book Tag. It was created by Richard Denny and I wasn't actually tagged by anybody but I recently just watched his video and I absolutely love it and all the questions and I just want to say that I am now officially obsessed with him. He is so funny. I'll leave his link down below. Totally check him out. Love him. So without further ado, let us get started. The first question is the start of summer. Pick a book with an attention-grabbing first sentence. And I'm going to go with House of Dark Shadows by Robert DiParulo. Still obsessed with saying Robert DiParulo. I think it's so fun. Anyways, the first sentence is... The walls of the house absorbed the woman's screams until they felt to her as muffled and pointless as yelling underwater. Like, sorry, what? I wanna... what? Why? What? I wanna know what happened to the lady. Still have not read this book. But I seriously like, what happened to her? The second question is, too hot to go out, pick a book for a day in. And I am going with This Song Will Save Your Life by Leela Sales. This book is so good and I feel that if you were reading it for your day in, you wouldn't even notice that it was too hot to go outside because this book goes by so quickly and it is such a good read if you haven't read it already read it i think i gave it four out of five stars on goodreads maybe five out of five or 4.5 i'm not sure but i know that i love this book so definitely definitely check it out if you haven't already the third question is summer road trip pick a book that you would take on the road with you and i'm going to go with the knife of never letting go by patrick ness i've had this book on my shelf for a little while now but i've wanted to read it and it's a pretty thick book so depending how long your road trip is I think it would be a really good book because then you don't have to carry around like t five books because you have one big book so you'll get through it not super fast and then you don't have as much to carry. Which on my road trips I don't like carrying that much because I'm lazy so this would be a good book. The fourth question is Ice Tea Goodness and it is a book that is set in a cold place. And my book is Ignite by Lily Paradise. I'm not 100% sure where the actual setting is. It's a, in the States, I believe, but it's during the winter time, so that's pretty cold. Just saying, winter is always cold, so this is definitely one of the books. And I gave this book a 3 out of 5 stars. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. You can check out my review down below if you want to look at it. Shameless promotion, there you go. Question 5 is Nasty Sunburn. Name a book that you disliked so far this year. And I'm going to go with Billy by Anna Godava, Godalva, however you say it, Gavalda. I did not like this book. I gave it one out of five stars on Goodreads. It was just really boring to me. I just, not, not for me, not for me. Yeah. If you, oh, you can check out my May wrap up. <laughs> More shameless promotion. <laughs> yeah, I talk about it, so check that out if you're interested in why I didn't like it. And finally, question six is Sizzling Read. Name one of your favorite books. I'm sure you can all guess what book I'm going to choose. It is The Death by Cody Keplinger. I love this book. It is my favorite book. It is so good. I love it. Recently came a movie. The movie is not as good as the book. Just saying. If you guys saw the movie and were just like, eh, what? No, this is, this is terrible. The book is way better. It's a completely different book from the movie. So seriously, read it. If you haven't, I give it five out of five stars on Goodreads, obviously, because it's my favorite. All right, guys, so that was the Summer Loving book tag. I will tag who I'm tagging down below, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye!